what up, it's I Destiny. Welcome back, and today I am doing my favorite thrift items I've ever bought. So, I have a lot of them actually, but I've tried to narrow it down just a little bit, and I might follow up and do some um, expanded videos for certain sections of my wardrobe if you guys wanna see more of those. And uh, the ones that I already have, I'm gonna link um, above here. So, feel free to check those out. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. I'm doing VEDA, which is vlogging every day this August, or for me, videos every day this August. So um, I just did a BeautyCon LA video, so you can go ahead and check that out. But let me go ahead and jump into it. All right, what do I wanna do first? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. And I'm gonna try to clip in uh, either videos or uh, photos of me wearing these certain particular things. That way you guys can see how I kind of style it, how I do my little thing, my thing. So um, let's go. First thing is this suede jacket. It doesn't have a brand name or anything on it, but it's just, it was such a gorgeous jacket. I think I got this from the Goodwill, like way, 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 way back. And it was super cheap. Like I remember it being uh, probably less than $20, if not less than $15. And I love how it has kind of like the little ties at the bottom here and um, at the very base of the jacket for you to kind of cinch it in a little bit. And it is more of like a three quarter, uh, a three quarter sleeve, which I love, but I just love being able to kind of like drape it over my shoulders. It actually sits very, very well like this too, as well as like kind of like when you put your arms through. And it has a zipper, which I like as well, because kind of if you want to do like a, a half zip or whatever, I feel like this is just kind of like a very cool kind of jacket. It's not tight, but it's not too baggy. I feel like it's just kind of that right size for if you have like high-waisted jeans on or if you have shorts or a skirt. I feel like it just, it's very, very versatile. So love this one. Next on my jacket list is this kind of green military jacket that I got from the Goodwill. Was it the Goodwill? Yes, it was the Goodwill. Less than 20 bucks, but I just love it because it's really, really thick. It's kind of like that canvas material, no stretch to it, but it's just the right amount of baggy without being overboard, but at the same time, like still being like very, very chic, cool. It kind of has like the little elbow patches but they're square so it's kind of different I feel like it's a little bit more modern it's got the big old pockets which is great because I feel like when I go to events and I wear this jacket I don't need to bring a purse I could just um, put things in all of my separate pockets and feel like I'm good to go um, and they're like deep enough where I don't feel like my stuff's gonna fall out so love this jacket next is this uh, suede dress I got from the Goodwill so I had an event to go to I think it was like a I think it might have been an art event or like an art gallery showing or whatever Ran to the Goodwill, was like, I have nothing to wear, and ended up finding this gorgeous suede dress, very, very 90s, with a drop back. So I've taken plenty, 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 plenty of pictures in this dress. Absolutely love it. I think this might have been like one of their, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go to the Goodwill, they have certain tags, like certain tag colors, um, called the color of the week, and those items with that color tag are 50% off just hugs the body so well it makes the boobs look good it makes the body look good um, it does have a little bit of lining which I, I love because if you want to go braless you can um, but I have always loved this dress and I'm pretty sure this one was like somewhere around 15 bucks too. real suede bomb next on the list is and you guys have seen this before this is like one of my newer items that I feel like I've thrifted um, I got this one from a local thrift store in my neighborhood this is by the by the brand blessed are the meek Woo. Okay, and it's this knit top here, which kind of looks normal, kind of basic at first, but then as you go down, you get a little fringe action at the bottom. This, even though it's kind of like one of those more summery knits, it's not like super itchy because I feel like a lot of times with summer knits, just to make them um, not as like warm, I don't know. But it's bomb, very, very comfortable, very, very breezy, not too warm, and I love uh, kind of like these extended sleeves here, that way you kind of get like a little sexy like side action. Love this. This was definitely less than $10. All right, this one you guys have seen in my one of my style videos um, where I was kind of doing like my uh, the craft inspo like outfit, like kind of like witchy a little bit. And it's this one. And this one, funny story, I actually got this at the Goodwill for free. I was there shopping with Solaire. We were like looking for outfits uh, for something. He ended up meeting this guy in the parking lot and the guy was like throwing these bags and bags of clothes out of his car, talking about how he was like getting a divorce and how his wife or ex-wife or whatever and uh, daughters were uh, spending all his money and going shopping and buying all the stuff anyways so Solaire ended up kind of just like talking to him and they became cool and he was like hey if you guys want to dig through the bags um, before I donate them you guys are more than welcome to like it just makes less work for me and um, a lot of the stuff in the bags was like new or had tags on it or was like barely worn so I was like yes so this was one of the dresses that was in there 
love it this is actual silk it has pockets anytime i can get a dress with pockets it's winning so got this from the goodwill for free essentially next is the skirt i feel like this is kind of becoming like my favorite things i've worn in style videos um when i was with my homegirl paula this skirt i wore and i love 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 sorry it's like a little bit wrinkly um this is a real leather though um vintage skirt from this is by it is size eight made in the u.s but i just love the seafoam color anytime there's like seafoam it's a win-win for me so paula actually got the other one that was more of like a deeper like aquamarine color so we do have matching skirts because that's how that's how we do next skirt so i tried to pick like two from each category like two purses two dresses two skirts so this is my next skirt on the list and i, I just wore this to a boss's brunch event that i went to that i'm going to be putting on the uh on the Veda vlog um, in a couple days, so check out for that. Uh, but love this skirt. I don't know what it, it kind of reminds me of like the, the, the Flintstones. I almost said The Simpsons, definitely not The Simpsons. But um, for those of you that watched The Flintstones back in the day and like Wilma and you know, just all the women's kind of like kind of patterned like bedrock clothing. Um, so this, even though it's polka dot, um, it just kind of reminds me of that with the color scheme. Love this skirt. It fits super well. It's very comfortable. It has pockets. Uh, I think I got this from um, Crossroads. So I think you guys have those in Texas as well. If you guys are from Texas and you know and you've seen one, comment below. Uh, cross check me to make sure <laughs> that it's right. But I'm pretty sure you guys have them in Texas. I think maybe Arizona. And then we have them here in Cali. So um, love this skirt. Got this from there. I think it was maybe 12 bucks. And this is J. Crew. And if you guys want me to do an extended video on any of these, like if you guys want me to do like my like thrifted skirts that I bought or thrifted dresses, comment below, let me know because I have so much stuff in my closet. Like it really took me a minute to kind of even narrow it down to this stuff that I have here. And some stuff I just had to bypass completely, even though I love it just as much as the stuff that I have here. Um, so shoes, this is a category that I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of thrifted shoes just because... I get thrifted shoes online, I get thrifted shoes in store, I get them everywhere. My first pick is these boots here. So I just love, I just love like a good like vintagey boot. Like I just, I love it. Um, but love, love, love the fact that these are like tall boots. They come like right up to like around like my knee area. It's real suede. I haven't been able to wear these in a while because I've literally worn down the heel so much that I actually cracked this part of the shoe. So I need to get these resold when I get a moment. I just, I haven't had time. And these are well, made in Brazil by, I don't think I've ever known who the designer was for these, but I've just loved them and worn them to death. Next is my Schutz shoes. So uh, for many of you guys that know me, you know that I love this brand. You know that I have several of their shoes. Um, but I got these from Crossroads. These beautiful, fuzzy, furry, gorgeous little mules. And I've worn these in photo shoots. I've worn these out. Now, the only thing is, is they're not extremely, extremely comfortable, which is weird because you're like, well, they're suede and they're leather and they're this and that. But um, they just look really, really amazing in photos. They are a little bit difficult to walk in, but that's just because, you know, there's no back on them and they kind of slide off your feet a little bit as you wear them. But they're just so gorgeous. Like, what shoe do you know that looks like this? Now we're gonna move on to purses. Now, I have a lot of thrift purses for those of you that have been watching this channel for a minute because I have two, two videos, not one, two videos specifying my thrift purse collection. I had to do part one and then like, I think a year or two later, I had to do a part two. So I'll try to link those videos um, in this one that way you guys can check those out. Um, those are some of my more like beloved videos um, just because I feel like a lot of a lot of women who collect thrift purses were kind of like a little like niche community almost. Um, but I'm just going to share with you uh, two of my um, I mean, they're all my favorites, but like two of my most loved, I guess, bags. OK, so this first one is a Whiting and Davis. I'm a huge fan of their purses. I love their purses, um, AKA known as like the flapper purses. They've been making purses since I think like 1910 or 1920, something crazy like that. Or no, I think even early, maybe like eight, 1800s. Anyways, this is my very, very first antique item and antique purse. So, and that's this one here. Isn't it gorgeous? I've used this very, very sparingly very, very sparingly for events, but I was at a um, 
a thrift. The community college near my house has like a thrift outdoor kind of like event that they do once a month. So I found this and at first I thought it was like a flask and I was like, oh, that's interesting. But the way that you get things actually in this purse is you pop the top and then you open and then you can put your stuff in. So it's actually, I want to say like if you're going to like more of a high end event, it's just enough space for you to fit like a lip gloss, maybe a chapstick and like your house key. If you have like a huge set of car keys and a fob and like all this stuff, it's not going to fit. But if you take off maybe your house and car key and put them in here with your lip gloss, like you'll be good to go. That's pretty much all you need. And I think I can also fit like, um, yeah, I'm able to fit like my ID and a debit card in here. It actually fits pretty, you know, a pretty decent amount of things in it. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's real, real metal, really, really dense. But this is my, my little flapper purse. Next is this bag here. I got this from the Goodwill. And it's so funny because I had put this on my um, thrift purse haul video or whatever. And I was trying to figure out, I was like, this is just kind of a really cool bag. Um, I actually use it sometimes when I go to like festivals or like different events and you could fit like a whole bottle of wine in here, which is really nice. Um, but somebody actually told me that this is a thermos carrier from the seventies or something like that. I don't know. They commented in my video. Um, but somebody older than me had to put that in there. Cause I was like, I have no idea. I'm like, I put my wine in it. I carry, um, you know, some glasses or whatever in here and have it be cute. But, um, a thermos holder and it has a cute like little strap that I can throw on and I just I love carrying it it looks like very um, like explorer traveler kind of bag and I think this was probably like five bucks if that at the Goodwill all right and last but not least we're gonna do the pants category so these are sanctuary and I got these from the local thrift store near my house I don't think I've actually taken pictures in this um, but look at this they're checkered, they're bomb, they're stretchy. These are some of my most comfortable pants. I, I found myself wear these to work time and time again. I found myself wearing these just out to run errands time and time again. And I just feel like it gives your outfit more of an elevated look. It looks like you tried a little bit more just because this is such like a sophisticated pattern. But then it just feels like you're wearing like leggings. I mean, they are a lot thicker than leggings. They're more of like that jegging type, almost office wear slash yoga pant type material so definitely on the thicker side the only thing i hate is that they have these like faux pockets which i'm not a fan of you can effortlessly feel like you really put time into your outfit and i just feel like they look amazing and they feel great and last but not least are these pants that i'm wearing right here and these are vintage guest jeans and i got these for i think it was like 12 12 to 14 dollars somewhere around there but i love because they're like a bomb like very, very 90s, like high-waisted mom jean. They're very like 90s model mom-ish, which I really, really love. And they're really long, so I can kind of cuff them and wear them with like booties, leave them uncuffed and do like a really, really cute stiletto. Um, and I feel like it just kind of adds that, like that je ne sais quoi to the outfit, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, love throwing these on, love wearing, to the, love wearing them to events. And since they are vintage jean, they are very, very sturdy. They are very, very thick and they just have like amazing quality. They're very, very super soft because you can tell they've been loved really well and uh, washed kind of over and over again. So they do feel amazing and I think they're just going to keep getting better with time. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for my next video and like this video if you want to see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well and be well and I'll see you all later. Bye.